a professional thief. On a rainy evening, the telephone rang, interrupting the woman's thoughts. She picked up the phone and heard the nurse on the other end, distressed about her young daughter's high fever and severe shivering. The woman quickly hung up, rushed to the parking lot, started the car, and hurried to the nearest pharmacy to get her daughter's medication. When she came out of the pharmacy, she realized that due to her haste, she had left the car keys inside the car. Distraught, she called home with her mobile phone. The nurse informed her that her daughter's condition was worsening every moment. The woman mentioned the car key situation to the nurse, who advised her to try opening the car with a bobby pin. The woman quickly opened her bobby pin, glanced at the car door, and said with frustration, but I don't know how to use this. The sky was getting dark, and the rain was intensifying. Kneeling down in despair, she prayed, God, please help me. At that very moment, a disheveled man in worn-out clothes approached her. The woman was momentarily frightened by his appearance and thought to herself, Oh God, I asked for help from you, and now this man. Her voice was trembling with fear, but the man approached her and asked, Ma'am, is there a problem? The woman replied, Yes, my daughter is very sick, and I need to get home quickly, but I left the keys inside the car, and I can't open the door. The man asked if she had a bobby pin with her, and the woman immediately handed him her bobby pin. In a matter of seconds, the man opened the car door. The woman knelt down again and exclaimed, Thank you, God. Then she turned to the man and said, Sir, thank you so much. You're a noble man. The man turned his head and replied, No, ma'am, I am not a noble man. I was a car thief, and I was just released from prison today. God had sent a thief to help the woman, a professional thief. The woman gave the man her company's address and asked him to visit her the next day. To her surprise, the next day when the disheveled man entered the office of the company's CEO, he never imagined that he would be hired as a designated driver in that prestigious company.